Hello, hi everyone. Uh, this is Naveen. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do some of the basic commands using command prompt in Windows 7. Uh, it is very different from uh, Windows XP. Uh, Windows XP, every command is uh, you can every command you can use, but in Windows 7, everything is uh, very security, uh, very security, high security. You want some of the commands or won't work in Windows 7 and I, know I have a solution for that too so I will uh, going to show you the, some of the basics now you just uh, you can type it in Windows 7 SND so when it begins uh, at the behind it's just a way uh, editor to record my watch so nothing to do with that so let's get started and just uh, now it's currently it is in, it is in a user user folder and then innovator drive so in order to change that into in order to begin with the first so you have to use this one as cd uh, dot dot uh, it will uh, step back one folder behind just so you're going to see this see and this uh, innovative has gone and then you are you are now in users so now and again we have to go to cd c drive you just do the same and you are in user so in order to clear all the messages above, just use CLS command to clear all the screen. So now it's clear. So in order to see what are the folders that you have in uh, local drive C, just type PIR. So here it shows some of the uh, folders that you contain in C drive. So um, I just like to go on users. So that you know here in order to go inside users you just type this command cd space cd stands for change directory to users so now you are in users folder so in order to look up what file it contains just type dir and then you have three files just uh, like to go on you know to go up uh, once you enter here, just type again the R. So in now I'm going to show you some of um, all my pick that I have in here. Just so um, I'll go to pictures, see pictures, enter. So now you are in pictures. I'm going to show what all contains. So lots of uh, JPG, PNG, all the files can all the files can be accessible to command from. In Windows 7, what is the main, what is the main thing that you directly access the file you're going to look? Uh, but in Windows XP, it shows us some of uh, some of the low quality picture in command prompt itself. So in Windows 7, it directly access the software of which you are viewing this file. Just, just now, I like to show this uh, one of my favorite pic. That's, it's very funny. I'm just going to see what is that. Just in here, you see jp dot jpg. Just have in order to open that, you just have to type it in here. Jp dot jpg. You just have to be specific on this. Just caps dot jpg. Enter. Yo, here you just can see this. I just typed that how to in order to find some of the technical videos such as type how to I end up with this how to love Justin Bieber that was very funny well, this, uh, that sh this shows that uh, many people have been searched for this so that how to love Justin Bieber most of them girls uh, just funny very funny so this is it you just have to go back this press escape and you will come back with this and uh, in order to clear all the mess, uh, mess, you just have to type the command. You know that S C L S. Yeah. So you are how you are in now in pictures folder. So in order to go back to the drive, C drive, just type this command C D backward slash. Enter. So now you are in C drive and again you are at the first. So in here you have if you have to. Um, go to another drive like uh, you may have lots of drives like C drive, D drive, etc. You just type D colon enter. You will uh, end up with a, 
D drive here and then we have to look out what other things in here I just have my music, my works, news folders and some of the things and uh, you can't play games in this but if you want to play games in Windows 7 uh, you have to go with DOSBox um, DOSBox software uh, software um, which um, you can able to play the old games like Dave um, Dave saw some of the old, very old games that can be played in Windows XP but not in Windows 7 um, I will put one of the video like uh, uh, of the video is purely love for DOSBox. Let's so now continue, uh, continue with this. With this, um, uh, again, uh, if you want to check uh, some of the stuff like uh, IP config, something like that, it shows that it cannot be accessed. It's not recognized. This is because they think that it is um, a high level thing that a user cannot come in. That means IP is a very secure one so that it, it does not allow you to do. So in order to know your IP address, you just have to make sure that you right click on this command prompt as, uh, and then click on run as administrator. Then it will definitely show you the commands like IP config which will uh, show you IP address. And then um, you can also you can go to telnet mode. It shows the same thing, it's not recognized but uh, when you click as run as administrator, it will definitely open. And, uh, and one of the points, funny thing in this is you can uh, change your color like uh, command color I E. See, this is how you will end up. And if you want to know uh, more about this, just click color L. In here, it shows some of the basic colors that you can use in here. Just like uh, green, aqua, red, purple, yellow, white, black, blue, etc. And then uh, we will try some of those. Just like, um, why don't we try a red and blue color 4 and uh, light blue 9. See, actually the 4, the first number specifies the background and the next number is uh, text of the color so this is how you have to want you have to, uh, you don't like this color then you have to go back to normal just type color enter this is the default one you will end up with the black and white so this is it and then uh, you can find any problem of uh, doing this IP config I will show you now just close this up and then uh, right click on it and just click an IP sorry run as administrator it will ask you permission click yes and then now you are in here so in this uh, you can uh, get into telnet telnet see you are in telnet so what's the main what's the thing is that you, you need some of the administrative powers to in order to do whatever you want so, um, in this, uh, you can uh, just have to come out, just keep escape, exit, something like that. Wait. Yeah, quit. You have to quit. I'll try quit in order to get out of that. And then CLS. And now, you know, if you want the IP config, it will show the IP of your laptop and some of the stuff like this um, I can't show you that so I just uh, blur that so this is how you have to do and just something like that some of the stuff you can access any files like music, video and etc etc using this and I think this video helped you a lot and if you have any doubts Please let me know. Thanks for watching.